Hey everyone, this is Nick Orlando with Core AI. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about welcome dialogues and fallback experiences. So let's jump right in with welcome dialogues. Uh, the welcome dialogue is essentially what is the virtual assistant going to say or type to a user when they're first interacting with that virtual assistant. So this is an incredible opportunity to kick off the experience in a very positive way. You want to build a great first impression between the user and the virtual assistant. And you also want to think about what is the voice of the brand? What are we trying to convey to our users, to our customers? And what is that experience that we're looking to deliver to them? This is an excellent opportunity to really start things off in a good direction and start to gain a lot of traction with your user base and create an experience that is good. Because if you can create an experience that is good and that works, people will use it. People continue to use that virtual assistant and it all starts with the welcome dialogue. There's another really key aspect in the conversational design of a virtual assistant and that's the fallback experience. So a fallback experience is when the virtual assistant doesn't understand the user and what happens next, right? I think that this is one of the most critical, critical steps in all of conversational design for virtual assistants because you can't expect a virtual assistant to be accurate 100% of the time. It's not realistic because you also can't expect a human to understand exactly what somebody's trying to say 100% of the time. Humans make mistakes, machines make mistakes too. But if you build in a fallback experience that really you know, caters to the user, then you can still have an overall positive experience regardless of if the virtual assistant understands everything or if there are some things that it doesn't understand. Here's a great example. Let's say that a user is asking a question to the virtual assistant and the virtual assistant doesn't understand. So now we have to define what the fallback experience looks like. What is the virtual assistant going to say to the user? How does it feel? You know, maybe it's apologetic in tone. You know, I'm sorry, I didn't understand what you were saying. Could you try asking that question in a different way? Just that right there might be enough to deliver a good experience. But we can also think about it in a couple of different ways. Maybe the virtual assistant has an idea of what the user is talking about, but isn't 100% certain. So maybe the virtual assistant responds and says, I think you might be asking about X, Y, or Z. Is it any of these things? And then you could have a button, you could have a carousel, you could just ask for free form text or speech as well. Uh, another thing that you could do, right? So now we're going to a, a different level of experience. Another thing that you can do is you can create an experience where you're going to connect the user to a live agent. So this could look a bunch of different ways, but for example, you could ask the user if they want you to connect them to a live agent. And you could also, if the virtual assistant doesn't understand a user, maybe it's two times in a row or three times in a row, then you could automatically escalate that to a live agent. The goal with the fallback experience is to create an experience where the user is not getting frustrated or where if they are getting frustrated, you're trying to mitigate that frustration and annoyance. You're trying to provide an experience that they would want to come back to and that is very resilient over time. Um, so this is a little bit about how to think about welcome dialogues and the fallback experience. Thanks for your time and I'll talk to you guys soon.